Welcome to our first lesson on circumference. The circumference, essentially what we're looking at is the perimeter or the distance around the outside of a circle. That's what circumference is. The way that we find circumference is that we need either the radius or the diameter of a circle. When we have the diameter of a circle, the distance from one end all the way to the other, that's the diameter. If we have the diameter, we multiply that times pi, and that will give us the circumference. And if we have just the radius, then we would multiply two times the radius times pi. Essentially, these are the same thing. All right, two times the radius is equal to the diameter. You can see that right here. So if you have one of the radii, if you have a radius, you can multiply that times two, and that will give you the diameter. The diameter times pi will give you the circumference. Now, pi is just this magical number that is basically going to tell us what the diameter is, at, or the circumference is at this point. Okay, it's approximately equal to 3.14, and we'll use that approximation um, later on inside of this lesson. But basically, it's a symbol, it looks like this, and it represents a certain number, and that number is about 3.14. So what is the exact circumference of this orange circle? If we're given the diameter, we know it's the diameter times pi. So let's substitute the value of 10 into our equation. The circumference is equal to di pi times 10. And this is the way we write that, 10 pi. <laughs> right? Essentially, we haven't really done a lot of math here. We just changed it from 10 times pi times 10 to 10 times pi meters. If they're asking for the exact circumference, we need to leave pi the way that it is. Because the exact circumference is 10 times pi. And we'll look at some approximate circumferences later on. But if, it has, if it's asking for exact, then you leave pi looking like that symbol right there. Here's another one that's asking for exact circumference. So what we're going to do is leave the pi symbol the way that it is all the way through till the end. We have the diameter of this circle is 4 miles, or the radius, I'm sorry. From the center to the outside is the radius, and it's 4 miles. So 2 times pi times the radius is going to give us the circumference. So let's substitute the value of 4 into the equation for radius, and then solve. 2 times 4 is 8. Pi remains the same. 8 pi miles is the circumference, the exact circumference of this wonderful pink circle. <laughs> All right. When we're asking for approximate circumference of a circle with a radius of 15.3 millimeters, it will usually give us the parameters of it. In this case, we're going to use pi is equal to 3.14. It's approximately equal to that. So we're going to find the approximate circumference of a circle with radius 15.3. Let's take our circumference formula, 2 times pi times r. We're going to substitute in the values that we know. Pi, approximately 3.14 the radius, 15.3 millimeters. And now we just multiply all of that together. 2 times 3.14 times 15.3. And we get that our circumference is approximately equal to 96.084 millimeters. We can usually just round that. That would be about equal to 96 millimeters. All right. When you're dealing with millimeters, you don't want to be getting into decimals. Millimeters are small enough as it is. All right. Unless they ask you to say tenths or hundredths, then of course. But this is approximately right. So that is the types of questions you will see um, about circumference. If, if you'd like to see some more about circumference, there is another circumference video. That would be part two. And in that one, we'll discuss the circumference of a couple of different shaped shapes. <laughs> so have a great day. And I will see you next time.